I think this series coming to a close felt kind of perfect. As sad as it was to say goodbye, Mike created the ending that we couldn't even have dreamed of, and it was so dignified and beautiful and thoughtful, and we got to choose to go, which is so rare for any yeah. given show. And we also found out a year beforehand, so we were able to really savor all of the moments and yeah. savor all of the goodbyes. We didn't take a single moment or snack for granted. We had the luxury of, you know, grieving, uh, being you know, sad with each other, being happy with each other. We did. We savored every moment. Well said. Yeah. yeah. We had the luxury of um, saving our money, um, investing yeah. properly. Yes. In case we don't ever get a job again. Um, so that was, that's always nice. Sent some rude emails to Mike. Yeah. You know, got that out of our system. It was weird to be canceled by your boss, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> If I could imagine what the, how the universe works, I would have to say it would be pretty close to what Mike wrote and we shot. You know, it had a, a sweetness, a kindness. Uh, um, it just felt really right. It really it was a, a kind of a perfect way to hold our journey in the universe. And uh, it was very pleasing. It made me very happy. It didn't make me sad. It made me very happy. It was hopeful. Mm -hmm. Tahani survived, so spin-off. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> Even that last word, take it sleazy, it's a very, mm. I don't know how to, a mic sure way to end things, yeah. where it gives you a bit of hope and he also uh, ends it off with like a little, a little uh, smile in the end. Um, it's, it's very sweet of him and basically I think we're saying that Mike sure is God. For, for creating this. I loved your one of your final lines in describing why you decided to go. The air? Yeah. You, what was it? I mean, the, the air inside my lungs yeah. is the same as the air outside my body. Yeah, I just love that. I think it just resonates with different age. I mean, this is one of the few shows, I think, where like people come up to us and they're like, we enjoy this so much with our kids. I enjoy this so much with my grandfather. I, I enjoy this so much with my whole family. It's one of those rare shows that we can all really sit down and enjoy together. It's about decency, you know? It's about what it means to lead a life where you realize there are consequences to your actions uh, and people are watching, you know, that there's a ripple effect to everything we do. It just, it's a good moment in our history, in our life, to, <clears throat> to talk about decency and what it means to lead a, a purposeful life. And I think that resonates with kids. They get it, uh, and their parents appreciate it. And a handful of construction workers were yelling at me today, yeah. <laughs> and that made me go, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I uh, sort of grew up on Cheers, which was, um, this is no reference to your age, but it was uh, airing quite a while after they'd finished shooting it, and it just played again and again and again and continues to be a big part of my life, and knowing that we're a part of something similar that generation after generation will find means the world. This, uh, it's also the fans who have moved us so much in their passion. They're so thoughtful, they're so caring, the way that they dress up as us, the thoughtful statements and how polite and kind they are when they stop us in the street. Yeah. It feels like we have the smartest, coolest, nicest fans in the world. I envision 12-year-olds coming up, you mm -hmm. know, and every new group of 12-year-olds will want to see this and their parents will want to have them see it. So I, I bet there is life to this because it's a, it's a beautiful, it's a message about decency and ethics wrapped in nine-year-old fart humor. And how can you resist that? In this TV landscape, you know, things come and go and you'd hope that people do kind of keep sharing it and keep loving it. And um, I mean, at the end of the day for me, it's just the fact that I was able to be a part of it, a small part of it was incredible. It's, this is a, you know, a Mike Shore journey that we all got to be part of.